So the issue is if I'm a really time-starved CEO, I can't do everything. Uh, but I want to focus my efforts on just a few things that are going to deliver the, the highest value, the biggest bang for my buck. What should I do? When we look at our global numbers on, on our assessment tool to see what typically comes out at the bottom of the pile uh, when it comes to these assessments, uh, three things really jump out at us. Number one, recognition. And how often we recognize and validate employees is really, really low in most companies across the board. And, and here's the underlying principle that drives this. Every single em employee, in fact, every single human being that wakes up every day in search of validation, we're hardwired to be seen, recognized, and valued. When we come to work, the question is, do we get enough validation and recognition? And the universal reply to that is no, we're not. Anything we can do to increase, to recognize employee performance better, more frequently, is going to increase employee engagement. And it's not expensive. So that would be number one. Number two, the way we provide feedback and review for employees. It's related to recognition, but it's different. The typical way that we provide serious feedback to employees is through the annual performance review. So whenever I ask a CEO how often you provide serious feedback to your employees, the response typically is once a year in the annual performance review. Fine. Then I ask, how often do your employees want feedback on how they're doing? And then the answer is, they pause every minute of every day, or at least daily. And it's absolutely true. We need feedback every day. We want to know how we're doing in the organization, but we only seriously provide it once a year. So the delta between when we give feedback and when employees want it is enormous. It's huge, and it's too big. The annual performance review as a business practice is dead. It does not work. It's negative for the person giving it. It's negative for the person getting it. And one of the things we've found out over the last few years is because many companies haven't had money to give raises and because the annual performance review seems to be inexorably linked with giving a raise, since there's been no money, there's been no performance reviews. CEOs tell me, why do them? I've got no money to give. So now we're not providing employees with any feedback. It's, it's remarkably dysfunctional. Um, we need to provide feedback more frequently, and once a month is the best practice, and, and how you give it is, is really, really important. Now, the third area, what's the third thing I would do? <clears throat> the, I think the third thing I would do is actually um, test and evaluate. You, you can't manage what you don't measure. So we would strongly encourage CEOs to measure engagement so that you know what, what's actually going on so you can manage the process. So that if you do do something ostensibly to increase engagement, you can then actually measure it after the fact to know whether or not it worked. That's critical. 